Welcome to the Global Link U, the latest news from around the world. For nearly half a century, Voyager 2 has sailed the cosmic ocean, billions of miles from home. It has left the planets behind, venturing into the cold expanse between the stars. Recently, it sent back a message, not in words, but as a faint vibration in the fabric of space. This subtle signal suggests interstellar space isn't as empty as we thought. Voyager 2 pressed onward, crossing into the unknown. Its latest signal is a cosmic surprise that has scientists both baffled and excited. From historic planetary encounters to the edge of the solar system and beyond, this is a story of exploration and discovery. Voyager 2's message is a whisper from the void inviting us to listen closer, and Voyager 2 is our messenger from the stars. Voyager 2's story began in the 1960s, an era of bold ambition in space. NASA scientists spotted a rare planetary alignment, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune lined up for a grand tour. This alignment, once every 176 years, let a single spacecraft visit all four gas giants using their gravity to slingshot from one to the next. On August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 launched from Cape Canaveral with its twin, Voyager 1, following soon after. Voyager 2's longer path meant it could visit Uranus and Neptune, worlds never before seen up close. Equipped with cameras and instruments, Voyager 2 became our robotic explorer at the solar system's edge. Each Voyager carried a golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, images and a message of peace. The golden record is humanity's introduction to the cosmos. This is who we are. This is our world. Voyager 2's journey was a leap into the unknown, driven by curiosity and hope. Against all odds, it survived, thrived, and kept going, carrying our message into the stars. Voyager 2's tour of the outer planets transformed our understanding of the solar system. In 1979, it flew past Jupiter, capturing the Great Red Spot and discovering active volcanoes on Io. At Saturn, it revealed the intricate structure of the rings and Titan's thick, mysterious atmosphere. In 1986, Voyager 2 became the first and only probe to visit Uranus, discovering new moons, rings and a bizarre magnetic field. Its controllers reprogrammed it from billions of miles away, pushing the limits of remote exploration. In 1989 it reached Neptune finding the Great Dark Spot, the fastest winds in the solar system, and geysers erupting from Triton's frozen surface. Each encounter rewrote our textbooks, replacing speculation with breathtaking images and hard data. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission was complete, but its greatest adventure was just beginning, the Voyager Interstellar mission. Now, it would journey beyond the Sun's influence into the true unknown. The data it sent back would become our first direct taste of interstellar space. Voyager 2's postcards from the gas giants are a legacy of discovery, but its most profound message was still to come. After Neptune, Voyager 2 set course for the edge of the solar system, the heliopause. The heliopause is where the sun's solar wind yields to the interstellar medium, the thin mix of gas, dust and cosmic rays between stars. Crossing it meant leaving the sun's protective bubble and entering the galaxy itself. For years, scientists watched as Voyager 2's instruments reported subtle changes. They awaited the telltale drop in solar particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays. In November 2018, more than 11 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2's instruments detected a dramatic shift. The solar wind vanished, cosmic rays surged. Voyager 2 had exited the heliosphere and entered interstellar space. It became the second human-made object to cross this boundary, after Voyager 1. The data revealed the heliosphere isn't a perfect sphere, it's shaped and compressed by the interstellar medium. The transition was surprisingly smooth, not turbulent as some models predicted. One moment Voyager 2 was inside the Sun's domain, the next it was adrift in the galaxy. This crossing gave us our first real glimpse of the frontier between solar and interstellar space. Voyager 2 was now a true interstellar traveler. As Voyager 2 ventured deeper into interstellar space, its instruments kept listening. For years the data matched expectations, low plasma density, steady cosmic rays. But in late 2024, a faint, persistent hum appeared in the plasma wave system's data, a low-frequency vibration lasting for months. Scientists checked for instrument glitches or interference but the signal was real and coming from the space around Voyager 2. The discovery, announced in 2025, stunned the astrophysics community. The interstellar medium was supposed to be quiet, but this was a steady, coherent oscillation. It wasn't a burst from a supernova or a solar shockwave, it was a constant low-level hum. 
The frequency was just a few kilohertz, hinting at a large-scale phenomenon. There were no nearby stars or nebulae to explain it. The signal didn't fit existing theories, it was a true cosmic surprise. Voyager 2 had stumbled upon a new mystery in the void. The universe had revealed another secret, challenging our understanding once again. Science thrives on such surprises, when the data doesn't fit, discovery begins. Voyager 2 had given us a puzzle from the edge of the galaxy. Scientists raced to explain the mysterious hum. The leading theory, the heliospheric echo. This idea suggests the signal isn't from the interstellar medium itself but an echo, our solar system's magnetic bubble, the heliosphere, vibrating as it moves through the galaxy. The heliosphere isn't rigid, it flexes as it encounters density variations in the interstellar plasma. These ripples generate weak plasma waves that propagate outward. Voyager 2 near the heliopause is perfectly placed to detect them. It's like listening to the sound of our solar system's passage through the galaxy. The hum's frequency matches what you'd expect from a structure the size of the heliosphere. Dr. Elena Petrova, lead author of the study, says, Voyager 2 is listening to the interaction between our home and the galaxy. The hum's intensity even correlates with solar activity. When the sun is more active, the heliosphere puffs up, and the hum grows louder years later. This strengthens the case. The signal is a direct result of the heliosphere's dance with the galaxy. Voyager 2 isn't just measuring space, it's eavesdropping on the music of our solar system. The heliospheric echo is our first direct evidence of this cosmic interaction. The heliospheric echo changes how we see interstellar space. We once imagined the void between stars as silent and empty. Now we know it's dynamic and interconnected. Heliospheres aren't isolated, they interact with their surroundings creating subtle, measurable effects. The universe is filled with a chorus of low-frequency plasma waves, each star's bubble humming as it moves through the galaxy. Our heliosphere is just one boat on this cosmic sea, leaving a wake behind. This discovery has profound implications for understanding galactic structure and star formation. The interstellar medium is the raw material for new stars and planets, its properties shape the evolution of galaxies. The heliospheric echo gives us a new tool to probe this medium. By studying the hum, we can learn about the small-scale structures our solar system is passing through. It's a reminder, the space between things isn't empty, it's alive with fields, waves and information. Everything is connected, and Voyager 2 has given us a way to listen in. The universe is far more alive and complex than we ever imagined. Every major discovery redraws our map of the cosmos. The heliospheric echo adds a new layer to our understanding of the local interstellar environment. The boundary of our solar system isn't just a location, it's an active, vibrating interface. For future interstellar missions, this discovery is critical. The hum reveals that the interstellar medium is not a smooth ride, it's filled with fluctuations that could affect spacecraft. Voyager 2's data provides the first direct measurement of these conditions, invaluable for future explorers. If our heliosphere hums, so do others. Future telescopes might detect the echoes of nearby stars, revealing the size and strength of their astrospheres. This discovery enriches our cosmic perspective. The galaxy is alive with subtle energies and interactions. Our solar system is a complex system, moving through a dynamic medium, leaving a faint signature of its passage. We're not just residents of a planet but passengers inside a vast magnetic bubble making music as we journey through the Milky Way. Voyager 2 has helped us recalibrate our place in the universe. Voyager 2, a relic of the space age, has once again transformed our view of the cosmos. From its grand tour of the outer planets to its journey into interstellar space, it's delivered discovery after discovery. In 2024, it detected a faint hum, the heliospheric echo, revealing that interstellar space is alive with interaction. This finding forces us to redraw our cosmic map and rethink how we explore the stars. Voyager 2's hum is the sound of our home's journey through the galaxy, a testament to exploration and curiosity. The spacecraft will keep sending data until its power runs out, each day venturing deeper into the unknown. Its journey is a symbol of our drive to explore and understand. Voyager 2's legacy is secure, it's given us new worlds, new mysteries and a new way to listen to the universe. The universe is filled with wonders we've yet to imagine. As we listen to the faint hum from the void, we're left with one question, what other cosmic surprises await us in the dark?